Stocks and bonds rallied in March, despite the turmoil that emerged in the U.S. and European banking systems. While the developments were shocking to many investors, in the past 40 years, financial system shocks had been common late in interest rate hiking cycles. Indeed, liquidity injections and eventually an end to rate hiking cycles tend to accompany these events. March 2023 was no exception, with the Fed, the Swiss National Bank, and their global counterparts reversing their liquidity drains of 2022 and instead injecting nearly $1 trillion of liquidity into the global economy in March alone. With these liquidity injections expected to continue through the second quarter, the tailwinds for investment-grade bonds, which outpace even global equity returns for the month, should continue. Though we expect credit spreads to widen further as a result of the tightness that should result from banking failures in March, long-dated, high-quality bonds can benefit from falling yields as an economic slowdown follows. As a result, we continue to see opportunities for investors to build longer-dated U.S. dollar bond positions when 5- and 10-year Treasury yields reach the 4-4.5% to range. The March liquidity injections also proved to be a boon to global equities, as has been the case since the global financial crisis. As seen in the past month, investors should expect, though, dispersion within the equities at this phase of the economic cycle. Fortunately, we sat underweight financials and overweight technology going into March, avoiding the worst performing and positioned in the best performing sector in the month. Looking ahead, with U.S. banks now pricing a sharp and likely deterioration in profitability ahead, and with big tech stocks in the U.S. now at peak absolute and relative valuations outside of Fed QE programs, a stock selection and earnings focus will be critical. One beneficiary we expect from a coming end of Fed rate hikes and the central bank liquidity surge is gold. We've added new positions in light of the turmoil in March as a peak and an eventual fall in interest rates should prove a tailwind to gold ahead. For more details on how we're adjusting to this new global liquidity landscape taking shape, please visit us on ubp.com.